Hi there, I'm Graham Wilson. I'm here with the new Apple M3 Ultra Mac Studio to give you an unboxing, a review, and benchmark comparisons, as well as a few issues that I found. The box it comes in is exactly the same as the previous version of the M2 Ultras or M2 Max Mac Studios. I run STP Studios, which is a creative digital design and effects studio. We just got this M3 Ultra Mac Studio in to replace one of our M2 Ultra Mac Studios. And one thing that we hadn't seen online is how this affects day-to-day -day professionals doing 3D animation. Our primary render engine is with Redshift in Cinema 4D. Most of the other reviews we've seen online are about installing AI, large language models, which isn't our area of expertise. We also are not comparing this to an M4 Max Mac Studio. It does feel like it weighs slightly more than the M2 Ultra. All the ports are the same, except for there is an upgrade to Thunderbolt 5, which has led us to an issue that we'll get to at the end of the video. Here we have it stacked with our previous M2 Ultra. And now we have it all cabled in, hooked into the network, and we're ready to boot it up for the first time. Here is a list of the specs of the two computers that we are reviewing today. We have the M2 Ultra Mac Studio that we've had for the last 18 months. It has 24 core CPU, 76 core GPU, and 128 gigs of unified memory. And the computer that we just got in is the M3 Ultra Mac Studio with 32 core CPU, 80 core GPU, which also allows you to do hardware enabled ray tracing and 256 gigs of unified memory. The first benchmark that we have to look at is the M2 Ultra versus M3 Ultra Cinebench result. The M2 Ultra came in with a GPU score of 9,195, a multi-core CPU score of 1,941, and a single CPU score of 125. That compares to the new M3 Ultra Mac Studio that more than doubles the GPU score at 20,539, the multi-core CPU result of 2,994, and the single CPU score of 141. Next up, we have the M2 Ultra versus M3 Ultra Redshift Benchmark. This is the built-in benchmark that ships with Redshift. The M2 Ultra Redshift Benchmark came in at 3 minutes and 38 seconds, or 218 seconds, with the block size set to 512 in the render settings. In comparison, the M3 Ultra Redshift Benchmark came in at 1 minute and 50 seconds. The block size was set to 512. Over the course of a few hundred or few thousand frames, the M3 Ultra is a huge gain over the M2 Ultra. The final 3D benchmark that we have here is in Redshift with the Pixar Island Benchmark, which is a very large scale scene that was used in Moana. The M2 Ultra rendered the island scene in 26 minutes and 27 seconds. The block size was set to 512. The M3 Ultra rendered the island scene in 16 minutes and 35 seconds with a block size set to 512 with hardware ray tracing enabled, which is a new feature of the M3 Ultra chip over the M2. The final benchmark that I want to show is the M2 versus M3 Ultra After Effects client project. We were hired to do a very large format LED wall installation. As you can see, the M2 Ultra rendered this composition in 37 minutes and 12 seconds. And that's compared to the M3 Ultra, which rendered the composition in 19 minutes and 51 seconds. For us, that is a massive increase in speed over the previous generation. So we have run into an issue with the M3 Ultra. The M2 Ultra systems have two monitors connected to them. The secondary monitor is a 15 inch display connected through a single Thunderbolt or USB 4 cable, which supplies the monitor signal as well as the power. But we had a problem when we connected this same monitor setup to the M3 Ultra. The single Thunderbolt or USB 4 cable connected to the 15 inch display just showed a black screen. We've tried a number of different cables. We could not get a signal to show up. The solution that we found was to connect a mini HDMI cable to the 15 inch display and then have it powered through a USB cable to an external AC adapter. We can't get this to work properly on the M3 Ultra. So barring the one issue with the Thunderbolt 5 port, this M3 Ultra Mac Studio looks to be a fantastic upgrade and we really look forward to the scope and scale of projects that we'll be able to deliver with it. Please leave any comments or questions down below and feel free to visit us at sdpstudios.com. Thank you for your time.